time to renew the baskets. <sighs> Definitely need renewing. So I have the plants that I've got on my garden hall, plus a couple of extra that have been germinated. I have got a water mat which will sit at the bottom of one of the baskets and it holds the water for when it's needed for the plants. Hi, I've also got a beanie. Yes, my love. I'm doing gardening. I'm not doing a beanie video, I'm doing a gardening video. Okay. I've also got um, some swell gel, which are, it's not treats. Which are um, water holding little crystals that will swell up when they're full of water and gradually release it to the plants that need it. I have two coconut matting, um, I don't know what, what they're called, but it's just a, it's a basket liner. But I've got two because I've got two baskets and they haven't had their lining changed for quite some time. And I've also got Free multi purpose compost, and because I want to limit what's going to go on my hands, I can take a certain amount. But glove, so the first thing I need to do, I guess, is rip out all the dead. There is some still in both plants that is still alive, and I'm going to keep in but just transfer it of course oops and I've just broken the chain that was a good start I'm sure Beanie will make sure to supervise so with this particular basket it's got greenery now this comes up with teeny weeny little white flowers and I want to keep it but I am gonna halve it because some of it I'm gonna put in the garden so there's my blank basket and the first one to get a lining and as it's my first that can be the one that gets the mat at the bottom. Um, now these are generally used with houseplants, but I have found them quite successful in the bottom of um, whew, the hanging baskets. I'm then going to put a little bit of the old coconut matting only only a little bit at the bottom literally just to give it a little bit more of a protection from all the water running out because one thing with these baskets they take a lot of watering now this previous basket had a water mat at the bottom so I'm going to give that to the other basket and the first thing before putting the plants in we need the soil give it a good shake lovely rich dark soil the darker the soil the richer it is the more nutrients the more vitamins the more beneficial for your plants so i'm going to get some of that in 
I know I'm going to get covered in soil. In that time. Now if I move you down, can I move you down a little bit? You can see what's going on. A bit better. A bit better, isn't it? So, making sure it is all spread out evenly. Any lumps like that, just give them a quick crumble. Now this has got fertilizer beads in it. I'll try and pick one up where it's in amongst the soil so that you can see. See the little yellow dot? That's a fertilizer bead. And this is full of it. Okay, I'm going to say that's full enough. Now, number one, I want to put some of this back in. Now, the good thing with this is that it can be torn and it will still be quite happy. So, tore a bit off, make a little space. And what will I do with the rest of it? It'll go in my garden. Okay. Next, I want a mix of types of plant. So I have here some lobelia. And my plastic's going to go running away. Bear with me. Lobelia is a, tra a trailer, so I've got two lobelias, so I know that one is going to go into the other basket, one is going to go into this one. I have a spreading trailer, I have another trailer. And this was in a basket a couple of years ago. I have another spreading trailer. Standard trailer. And another standard trailer. So one is going to go in the other. And one is going to go in here. Another spreading trailer. And another. So this one's going to go in here. That one's going to go in the other. Another spreading trailer. Another. Are you trying to hide or what? And another two. So one is going to go over there, one is going to go over here. So right now I've got two, four, six plants to go in here. So the first one I'm going to do is the lobelia. I'm going to take half of what has germinated. Maybe a little bit less than half actually. And the rest is going in a pot outside the greenhouse. So make a little indent. In fact I'm going to put this a little bit toward the middle because you want the trailers on the outside really and this it does trail but it's not 
its main thing. It's more of a colourful thing for the middle. What is definitely going in the middle is... Ooh, I've got two of them. Let's move one of them. It's definitely going in the middle. Here's this one. So, straight in the middle, giving plenty of room. Remove paper and pop it in. Next, um, I'm going to do this one and put that on the edge. Sure, the plant is well in. I'll turn. Then I'm going to put petunia because I don't have one for this basket. The only thing I don't like about petunia is their leaves are very sticky which helps protect the leaves but I don't like it so I'm going to put the petunia in next to the little white flowered grass that I cannot for the life of me remember what it's actually called but that's on the edge with the grass around it. That should be fine. I've got three more to put in. So this is next. Biden's blazing fire. Make sure you fill the air gaps. and push that soil right down. Next. And then lastly, the last one to go in to this basket okay so again make sure you push down to remove all the air because the roots don't grow in air, so if there's air, they can't grow in it, which means they don't have their full potential. Now, a little bit of the swell gel. Just sprinkled on the top for the moment. Don't need too much. delve back into the soil and top up. It's always a good idea to have a little bit of a, a well in the middle so it all doesn't seep out the sides, it goes toward the middle and remember that matting is at the bottom in the middle. So that's really where you want the water to be after the plants have had their fill.
just keep pushing down making sure there's plenty of soil in there for them to live on I would say that was enough. So one basket done, ready for hanging. And then the second basket. Again, we have flowers that are still green or coming back as green because the majority of basket plants um, tend to be annual. But I try and find perennials so that when the baskets are finished, I can actually put the plants in my garden. Not a waste of money. Pollinators love them. Bringing colour into the garden. So, just like the other one. I need to get rid of the dead. And then upside down, so we have our blank basket. New liner goes in. Water mat at the bottom. And let's fill it up. And I do apologise if you can hear the bin men. Yep, it's Wednesday, it's bin day. But usually, They've long gone by now, so I do apologise. Again, any lumps that you find, just crumble them out. Make it easier for those plants. I didn't do and I should have done. Take a little bit of the old core and just put it in. So I'm just going to scrape a, a bit away, put it in so it's doubly lined because water does come out very, very quickly out of the basket. Okay. Now, in this basket, has really established itself well over the year. That is now going in to the edge, or one edge, of the new basket. My centerpiece will be this one. And then right next to it, my 
Abelia Blue Splash. So again, I'm not using all of it. I just want enough to just put in the in the centre of the basket to give a little bit of colour, and the rest of it will go in the pot up the garden. Next edge. Again, remember, take out the air. Next edge. It's very rare that I'll get trailers. I will try to get one trailer per basket and the rest I'll get a couple of bushes, a couple of spreaders and the rest is standard. Oh, didn't show you it, sorry. Petunia going in. And the last edge. My favourite. Next to cornflower, fuchsia's my favourite. Okay, so again, push down. Make sure they're all well in. Just for the sake of it. It's not going to do anything apart from die, probably. Um, a swell gel, little sprinkling just on the top. Not too much. Because otherwise when it does swell up it will push all of the soil out so you want just a little sprinkling kind of like icing sugar and then you top it up with the soil pushing down as you go Making sure you don't cover any of the leaves up. And making sure also that you've got that well going around the middle so that the water gets attracted to the middle where that matting is now finished and that is ready to hang out the front another basket done so next time you see them they'll be outside my front door ready waiting and welcoming <laughs>